My name is Melissa McGuire Manu, and I'm Puerto Rican. I'm a veteran of the Air Force, and uh, my husband and I got married in 2005. Um, I knew my husband's story, and um, I wanted to uh, figure a way for me to help his situation. Um, so I had to research it in depth to understand, now that we were husband and wife, how um, I could help his undocumented status. Um, and in doing that, I was able to uncover a lot of mistakes. My husband came when he was 17, uh, back in 1985. Uh, we're going on eight years of marriage now, and he's still undocumented. Um, long story short, his mom came um, with a visa, so they came over legally. Um, and uh, she went through the legalization process and became a citizen. She then petitioned for her kids, who were then at that point weren't minors anymore. So their applications were approved, and they've been waiting over 15 years under that petition. So in the interim, um, he was ordered deported. He was ordered removed. So when we got married, that was um, a block, a barrier for, for us to be able to adjust his status. Um, so we started the process. ICE came to our house three times. At the third time, they did um, apprehend him, detain him, and, and put him in a Broward Transitional Center. Um, because my husband has been um, a good citizen for all intents and purposes, pays his taxes, has no criminal convictions, has a U.S. citizen mother, um, most all of his family are citizens, uh, U.S. citizen children, um, and now his wife, veteran. To me, I just felt that it was just uh, a waste of resources, um, and it really angered me because it was very clear that I had, was fighting for my husband. Um, and after three days of fighting and petitions and prayer vigils, um, he was released. Um, we're still fighting because we don't have an answer yet from uh, USCIS on our application for adjustment of status. Um, and so, you know, almost eight years of marriage and we're still fighting the system. Um, so, you know, my reason for being involved is not just for my husband, um, but I've also seen my sister-in-law get deported, my brother-in-law get deported. I have nieces and nephews that are uh, with no parents. Um, they're now DACA eligible, but that doesn't give them back their mother. Um, and, and I don't think anything could replace a mom uh, and a, or a dad. Um, so that's my motivation. Uh, my family, other families, my neighbors, my friends, my community was there for me when I needed them most, and uh, I feel that that's the least I could do is be there for my community. So I'm in it to win it, and I'm in it uh, to see it to the end.